Hi, I'm Dave Gripe, and today we're here to talk about CTC's new sensors, the AC212 1D 250 millivolt per G sensor, and the AC214 1D 1000 millivolt per G sensors. The reason CTC developed these two new sensors was specifically to target the wind industry and also to create more variety for use in other low speed applications. Wind turbines move at particularly low speeds, so the lower frequency and better response from these two new sensors provides greater accuracy when taking measurements on low speed applications. The AC212-1D sensor is a plus or minus 10% sensor with a sensitivity of 250 millivolts per G. The frequency response goes from 0.2 hertz to 10 kilohertz, 12 cycles per minute to 600,000 cycles per minute. The dynamic range is plus or minus 30 G's peak. The AC214-1D is a 1,000 millivolt per G, or 1 volt per G sensor, with a frequency response from 0.1 hertz to 10,000 hertz, 6 cycles per minute to 600,000 cycles per minute. The dynamic range is plus or minus 7 G's peak. CTC designed and developed the AC212 and the AC214 series sensors from the ground up to have better frequency response characteristics and a lower noise floor than many of our competitors. Some manufacturers for their 250 or 1000 millivolt per G sensors use a standard size sensor with the same size mass ceramic and pedestal that are used in a regular 100 millivolt per G multipurpose sensor. In contrast, CTC's AC212 and 214 sensors use a larger mass, a larger ceramic, and a larger pedestal in order to have a larger native output. This output thus needs less amplification which gives it lower noise and better frequency response throughout the full range of the sensor. This has been a review of the AC212-1D and the AC214-1D sensors. Remember, when reliability matters, connect to confidence, connect to CTC.